I was right in not avoiding her, wasn't I? No, maybe it was a mistake. Because her body was extremely and unreasonably light for her. That's right. For her, Sanjo Gohara, the definition of weight did not exist for her. Even though it's a cultural festival, we are already third years. There isn't much we have to do seriously. Preparing for the exams is also very important. For starters, let's list some alternatives. We'll get everyone to cast their votes from there. How's that sound? It's fine with me. It seems somewhat democratic. Your tone is just as harsh as always, Araragi-kun. Should I call you stubborn? <laughs> Hanakawa Tsubasa, the class representative. She is law-abiding, well-mannered, extremely serious, and highly praised by teachers. The representative of all representatives. Just for reference, what did you suggest for the cultural festival last year? And the year before that? Ghost house and a cafe. Mm -hmm. And, as the vice president, it's my job to help Hanakawa. So I'm discussing the plans for the cultural festival with her. Hey, we have a student named Senjo Kahara in our class, right? Senjo Kahara-san? What do you want to know about her? Well, I'm concerned for her. Doesn't she always take leave from school due to her weak body? I was wondering if she would even be participating. Mm -hmm. Besides, don't you agree that the name Senjo Kahara Hitaki is very strange and fascinating? The surname comes from the name of a place. No, not that. Rather, I meant her other name. Senjo Kahara's given name is Hitagi, correct? Is there anything as strange as that? Hitagi sounds like a civil engineering jargon. You sure know everything, huh? I don't know everything. Just what I know. <sighs> well, this is surprising. Huh? Araragi-kun is interested in someone else. No, it's not like that. Boys always like girls that are physically ill. Oh my, how disgusting does that sound? Physically ill, huh? Uh, but is it really an illness? Anyways, what kind of person is Senjo Kahara? You should be more informed regarding things about her, shouldn't you? You've both been in the same class for three consecutive years. Now that you mention it, we have. <sighs> well, she's an honor student with a clean record. Her grades are also pretty good. I guess so. 
However, I've only been in the same class as her for a month. Indeed, I don't know her that well. Golden Week lies within that month. Golden Week, huh? Eh? What about Golden Week? It's nothing. Carry on. Ah, uh, let me think. Senjo Kahara-san, she doesn't speak all that much. She doesn't seem to have friends either. It must be due to her illness. She was much more livelier and more full of spurt during her time at junior high. Speaking of junior high, Hanakawa, did you go to the same school as her? Hmm. Senjo Kahara-san, she was really beautiful. Good at sports and the star of the track team. As such, I heard many rumors about her. What rumors? That she's a very good person who treats others kindly. Apparently, her father is an important figure in a foreign-owned business, living in a luxurious house. Despite that, she has never shown any arrogance. She sounds superhuman. Maybe it's inappropriate to say this, but... Senjo Kahara-san... Say it. She looks a lot more... beautiful... now than she did in the past. A fragile existence to be living in. A fragile existence... Ah, uh, I just remembered something. Oshino told me to come over. Oshino-san did? What's wrong? Nothing important. Just helping him. Hmm? Hanakawa, can I leave the rest to you? If you promise to make up for this later, then I'll agree to it. You shouldn't keep Oshino-san waiting for too long. Uh, thanks. Say hi to Oshino-san for me. What were you discussing with Hanakawa-san? Oh. Uh. <gasps> Don't bother moving. Ah, <laughs> uh, my bad. You're free to move, but doing so will cost you. That's what I meant to say. Curiosity. Such a thing can be compared to cockroaches. It swarms around the secrets that one doesn't want others to know. It's truly frustrating. Uh, 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 hey. What is it? Right side feeling neglected? Well then, why didn't you say so? Though I must say, I was careless. I really did not expect that. A banana peel at the top of the stairs. Such a place to be left. You found out, didn't you? That's right. I don't have any weight. None. Despite that, I'm not 100% weightless. According to my body shape and height, my average weight should be in the range of 45 kilograms and above. But my actual weight is... 5 kilograms. <sighs> it happened after I graduated from middle school and before I started high school. I met a crab. A large one. It completely stripped me of my weight. <sighs> ah, it's forgivable even if you don't understand it. I'm only telling you this because I don't want you to stick your nose into it any further, Araragi-kun. Araragi-kun. Hey. Araragi. Kayomi-kun. Tell me, what should I do if I want to render you unable to reveal my secret? I'm a little curious. In the midst of all of this, what should I do for myself? In order to make you swear not to reveal it, even if you were to be tortured. What can I do to disable your mouth? <laughs> Regardless of the situation, what I want is silence and ignorance. If you promise to say silent and feign ignorance, nod your head twice. Araragi-kun, any other action will be taken as an act of hostility, and I shall act immediately. <gasps> I see. Thanks for that. <sighs> Impressive you didn't scream. Well done. I'll let you off just this once. You little... <laughs> now then, Araragi-kun, as of tomorrow, you are to ignore me. I'm counting on you. Uh, 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 
she's exactly like a monster. Ow. But it's all right. This type of injury means nothing to me. Hang on, Aradagi-kun? Hanakawa. You're still here? Didn't you need to hurry over to Oshino-san's place? Hanakawa, do you like bananas? Eh? Well, I guess I don't hate them, but if you're asking whether I like them or not, then yes, I like them. No matter how much you like them, never eat them in school. Huh? huh? It's okay to eat just one, but toss the peel in the hallway, and I'll definitely won't forgive you! Uh, what the hell are you on about? <laughs> uh, Aradegi-kun, you can't run in the hallways! <laughs> <laughs> You don't listen. And here I thought I told you not to follow me around. Then again, I never thought that you'd be able to put up such resistance after suffering from that sort of treatment. Senjo Kahara. No need to explain. I already understand. Let's have an all-out war. No, no! I'm not here to fight! You don't want to. You're no fun. Then... What do you want? I just thought... that I could be of help to you. Help me? Stop joking. What can you possibly do? You only need to shut your mouth and not say anything. I consider acts of kindness as hostility, too. Your wound. It's gone. Just what the hell are you, Araragi-kun? Oshino? Oshino-san? Yeah. Oshino Meme. Thanks to him, I became a human again instead of a vampire. Though, there are still some after effects from when I was undead. Hmm. Oshino Meme, huh? That name sounds very moe, if you ask me. You'd be deceiving your feelings if that's what you think. He's like a 30-year-old uncle of mine. I see. However, he must have been very moe when he was young. Don't use an approach like that to visualize real people. Speaking of which, do you understand what moe and character are? They're part of the general education. A character like me is known as a sundere, am I correct? It'd be more fitting to refer to you as a sundra. My butt hurts. It feels numb. My skirt is also crumpled. That's not my problem. Watch that mouth of yours, or I'll chop it off. What will you chop off? By the way, where did you put your bag? You're empty-handed. I've stored my textbooks in my school locker. Besides, when your body conceals stationery, you don't need a bag. Ah, I see. Without going empty-handed, I cannot fight freely in the event of an emergency. I'll hold on to that stationery for you. Eh? Hand it over already. Okay... As I said before, Oshino is like a weird uncle. He's still my savior, though. I can't let him meet someone dangerous. So let me hold on to that stationery for you. Of course you would tell me that now of all times. Tell me. Did you set me up? I understand. Take care of them. Oh. How much do you... Don't be mistaken. I still haven't let my guard down against you just yet. What the hell do you mean by that? Listen up. My 5,000 barbarous comrades are stationed to attack your family if they don't receive contact from me every minute. So let's make this quick. You don't have to worry. It'll be alright. You say a minute is enough to do it. You think I'm some kind of boxer? Both your sisters are still in middle school, are they not?
This way. What are you doing? Don't even think I'm thanking you for this. I'm not. You should be the one who's thankful. I don't understand that. That stapler wound. In order for it to not be obvious, I intentionally stapled it from the inside, rather than from the outside. That's some twisted logic you have there. You're such a psychopath. Well, regardless, it seems that I was worried over nothing. Right. If I said, being undead is just so convenient, would you be offended? Right now, I wouldn't. Oh, is that so? Besides, I'm no longer undead. It's just that my wounds heal faster. I'm still human, after all. Araragi-kun, I'll say this once more. What is it? Perhaps it's difficult to tell from my clothes, but my body might not actually be worth the price you'd pay for committing a crime, you know? How should I put this? On a whole, you're very self-conscious. You have quite a persecution complex. How rude of you. Be that as it may, there are things you should and shouldn't say to a woman. Yeah, yeah, I know. I must say, though, I'm impressed that this Oshino person manages to live in such a decrepit old building. Yeah, he's a rather weird person. But it's said that he specializes in people like you and me, so he's not all bad. Oh, Araragi-kun, you're finally here. What's this, Araragi-kun? It looks like you brought a different girl with you today. Shut up. Don't set me up as some cheap person. Hmm. Nice to meet you, young miss. I'm Oshino. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Senjo Gahara Hitagi. I'm a fellow classmate of Araragi-kun. I've been told many things about you from him. Ah, I see. Oshino, two years ago, this girl- Don't refer to me as this girl. Then how the hell should I address you, then? Senjo Gahara-sama. Senjo Gahara-sama! Don't use such a robotic tone with me. Please say it properly. Senjo Gahara-chan. Fuck me! You tried to blind me?! Don't call me Chan, either. What kind of equal exchange is this?! Copper, 40 grams. Iron, 25 grams. Nickel, 15 grams. Concealing embarrassment, 5 grams. Add 97 kilograms of bad intentions. And you've got my statement. That's mostly just bad intentions! FYI, that concealing embarrassment part was a lie. You just deleted the element that you shouldn't delete! In any case, before we start, who was that kid, sitting in the corner? Ah, uh, don't pay any attention to that. That's nothing. A child which doesn't have a name, it does not exist. No, no, Araragi-kun. I gave her a name yesterday. She worked pretty hard for me during the Golden Week. Uh, you gave her a name? What is it then? I named her Oshino Shinobu. Instead of Heart Under the Blade, this name really suits her, right? Her surname will be the same as mine. Sounds great. At any rate, what exactly is this kid? Weren't you listening? She's nothing. The remains of a vampire. The leftovers of a beautiful demon. A useless existence, but it can't be helped. I see. It's nothing major, then I will forget it. From what I have been told, I heard that you can help me. Help you? I can't do that. You're the only one who can save yourself, young miss. I've been told that stage line by five other people. All of them are frauds. Don't tell me you're like them, Oshino-san. <laughs> Young miss, you sure are feisty. Did something good happen to you? Anyway, if you don't tell me, there's nothing to be said. I keep secrets well, so relax. Uh, let me give you the gist of it. No need, Aragikun. I'll tell him. Senjo Gahara. I'm able to do it myself. A weight crab. Wait, crab, you say? Hmm. It's a myth from the mountains in the Kyushu region. According to different areas, it is also known as mind crab or heavy crab. Furthermore, a god of emotions. It's a pun on Kani and Kami. But why the Kyushu region? I don't understand. The place doesn't have much unique significance. If the right conditions are met, it shall emerge there. That's all. Hmm. In this case, it doesn't have to be a crab. There are myths about rabbits, though I'm not talking about Shinobu-chan. There are myths that they were beautiful girls. Ah, uh, it's like the face of the moon. Well, since you say you met a crab, young miss, this time, it must be a crab. What exactly is it? Its name is of no value to me, so just get to the point. The name is important. I said earlier, 
it could be a god, rather than a crab. It diverged from the god of emotions to become a weight crab. You are one of the fortunate ones amongst the unfortunate category. Why do you say that? Don't you know that gods are everywhere? They are everywhere, but nowhere. Before you ended up in your current situation, young miss, it was beside you, yet not beside you. <sighs> it's an ambiguous Q&A, isn't it? It's a Shinto matter. Or was it Shungendo? Don't be mistaken. You didn't become like this as a result of something. It's only that their perspective changed a bit. My perspective? What are you trying to say? Your oh-so-pitiful look makes me unhappy, young miss. Eh? You're still so calm. I thought you were a spoiled young miss. Why would you think that I was? A majority of the people who encounter weight crabs are like that. However, in this case, interference with a god is uncommon. Uncommon, you say? It merely exists there. It won't make itself present if you don't anticipate it to do so. Though, if I'm completely honest, I don't want to dive too deep into this matter. Regardless if it can be done or not, I know. If you wish to regain your weight, I can help you. Araragi-kun was the one to recommend me to you. You will help me?